Okay, so we're starting out this tour by the Joe Frank Harris Commons. This is Village Summit Dining Commons where a lot of people eat. And you can access this area from East Campus Road. And this is usually where a lot of people will get to East Campus from. Now, as we cross the street on the other side from Joe Frank Harris Commons is our fine arts department. You'll see a lot of our fine arts buildings over here. So we're just gonna take a look at what buildings they have on this side. So the first building that we have over here to our right is the Lamar Dodd School of Art. So you'll probably see some classes in here and yeah. <laughs> now we have to walk up all these stairs. If you know anything about UGA or if you don't know anything about UGA, we are a very hilly campus and we have a lot of stairs. So make sure you have your walking shoes on because it's going to be a lot. <laughs> now to get up the stairs, we have a couple other art buildings. The first building to our left is the Georgia Museum of Art. A lot of things happen in here. I think it's free for all students to go. So there's a lot of museum and art pieces in there. You also have a lot of galas and events that happen in there as well that you can dress up for. So most definitely make sure you go and take a look at that once you come on campus. Now the next building that we have over here to our right is just another entrance. It's the second floor entrance for the Lamar Dodd School of Art just for other accessibility. Now down those stairs is another parking lot that's behind East Campus Village buildings and residence halls. Now this next building that we have over to our right is the Hugh Hodson's School of Music. I hope I'm saying that right. But of course you have a lot of music that happens in here. Further down over there is an auditorium where a lot of the music majors will have recitals and you if you'll go over there you'll see like a lot of shows and performances then this next building in front of us is the performing arts center so of course there's performing arts that happens in there now if you were to go up this walkway that's over here to our right you will see a bridge that a lot of people take pictures on it's a little hard to see but there's a bridge that a lot of people take pictures with and next to it is the performing arts center parking deck now of course this is one of our directories of east campus if you're ever lost on campus if you, you need to figure out where to go you can always look at this it has a directory of everything on campus and will show you where you are right now it's very helpful if you don't know where you're going. So you can see the parking deck over there to the right and you can kind of see the bridge that's up there that I'm into right now. And of course, some more stairs. Now this is basically everything that you have in the Performing Arts Center circle and area. If you are an art major, music major, fine arts major, you'll probably spend most of your time over here now we're over here back to the joe frank harris commons just want to show you guys that over here you can kind of see that the sidewalk in this circle area is painted blue that's a big thing to know on campus if it's painted blue that is a bus stop and it's a uga bus stop so if you are ever lost and you don't know where bus stops are or aren't that's where they are so this is also one of our busiest bus stops. A lot of people come off there and walk to the residence halls, but there is also a stop in front of the residence halls if you're not trying to do that. Now here's just another entrance to Joe Frank Harris Commons. This is a two floor building the in to access the dining commons and to access the food you'll go on the second floor the first floor does have a cafe area that is open for purchase or for you to use your paw points or bulldog books over there or just for any visitors to go if they would like to eat food while they're on campus now here is the back entrance to joe frick harris commons once again you can see an advertisement in the front of the building for student workers. They pay $9 an hour, and I think that you can also get raises as well, but I'm not sure. There's also some outside eating area that they added this semester. I'm not sure if they'll be keeping that in other years or semesters, but if you'd like to see the outside, you can. And this is one of the back entrances 
to our recreation center. This is the entrance that a lot of people will go through. If they're coming after eating, they'll go through there. Or if they're going to a class, this is the easiest side to go to for the classes. Now you'll see in front of us, we have a parking deck. This is the parking deck that a lot of people go to if they're coming over to eat dinner at the Joe Frank Harris Commons or if they're trying to work out in the recreation center. So after walking up this hill and turning to your right, you'll see the main entrance to our rec center. It is a three floor rec center with a lot of different amenities inside. If you want to see a full tour of what they have to offer in there, I can most definitely do that, but I didn't walk into it just for the sake of time for this video. But there are many courts, there are many pools, they have everything. You can rent things out as well. We have, a, we have two weight rooms, cardio rooms, dance rooms, inside track. There's a lot to offer in here. So most definitely come and see if you get a tour of this if you're coming on campus or just come here to work out or take many of your PE classes that we have to offer. And we have a TV in the front lobby and we're always playing whatever is the highlight game of the day right there. So if you do just wanna see a game before you leave or before you start your workout, you can always go over there. Here is another East Campus directory that is in between the rec center and the parking lot. So again, if you are lost on campus, always look for the directories. Now, I did just wanna show this because I know a lot of people ask about parking on campus and where to park if they don't have a parking permit. In some of our parking decks, you can pay if you don't have a parking permit. So. That's just a sign showing you how you can pay once you come on campus. Parking can also be very confusing on campus, so make sure you check out the parking services website for UGA because they always have updated information on there, especially for game days where things get really confusing and you have to move your car or just figure out which parking lots you can and cannot park in. So this is the other side of the rec center. I did just want to come over here on this side of campus. A lot of people kind of forget and skip over this side, but it's very important. Now, this first building that we are going to be looking at is our UGA Visitor Center, as well as another agricultural building. And this is where a lot of people come for tours. Now, as we walk down this side of the street, this is also the back side of the rec center. There's no entrance that you can get to on this side, but it is still the same building, just so you know where you guys are at. Now, here we see another bus stop. This bus stop is actually really important. This is the bus stop for our health center on campus. I personally have never been there, but if you ever need it, it is a great resource because you're able to get dentist appointments there, doctor's appointments there. If there's anything that you need to do, instead of wanting to go to the actual Athens hospital, you can go here. And they also offer student insurance as well. I'm not sure how that works either, but I know you can get that done here. So it's very important to know the resources that are available to you while you're on campus because they want to make sure that everybody is staying safe. Now we're back up at the top by the visitor center once again. On this side of the street from the visitor center is our intramural field. A lot of stuff will happen here. If you're in band, there is a practice field for them that's further in the back. There's another parking deck over there we also have lake herrick pavilion i didn't go in depth in the uh, over there but if you want to see what's over there i most definitely can there's a lake a lot of people bring their dogs to walk around there's a pavilion we have multiple fields where people play soccer flag football everything people also go out there just to relax and a lot of times if we have any drive-in movies they will also happen over here because of the way the parking lot is set up 
Now this road that you are seeing right here, College Station Road, is the closest highway to access East Campus Village. There's an exit that's literally right over there to the right. And that's the exit that you want to go to if you're going to one of the Walmarts. There's another Walmart that's supposedly closer, but that's the Walmart that I usually go to. <laughs> now we are just circling back around over there to the left is the visitor center once again and on the right is our animal and dairy science building you'll see a lot of stuff there that people do and also if you're interested in animal sciences this is another meat science technology center that we have on campus the animal science major is a really interesting major that I didn't really know about before coming to UGA, but they are able to gain a lot of hands-on, on the field experience. So if that's something that you are interested in, UGA is most definitely the place to be for that major. Now we're just circling right back around. We can see the East Campus parking deck once again. And here are our residence halls in East campus village so this area that we have we like to call ecv east campus village these are more of our apartment style living on campus and we have a couple buildings over here that i'm going to show you guys in a minute so as you can see on here we have mcwarder ricker busby vandiver in this area and of course behind all these buildings we also do have building 1516 if you want to know more about these buildings make sure you most definitely go and check out my everything you need to know about uga housing on campus video that will be located in the i cards and in the description box down below so what you're looking at right now is another major bus stop for people who live over here in ecv it's usually always packed in a regular semester and it's always hard to get to so if you're trying to get to campus don't leave late because you need to get on the bus <laughs> so the first building that we're looking at is busby hall this is our largest residence hall so we have most of our students here and it you can see the ecv bus stop clearly So once you walk under this thing, we have two entrances to the left and to the right, but they both offer two different things. On the left side is how you access the building and the dorm rooms. Of course, you need to have your student ID and your passcode to get in. And then on the right, we have vending machines as well as our game room and some restrooms and also the community kitchen for the Busby Hall that you also need your key and student ID to get into. Now I want to show you guys what the game room looks like, but clearly it, the lights were off in there. You can kind of see we have a ping pong table and a pool table in there. And I'm not sure if there's a foosball table in there or not, but I know for sure there's a ping pong table and a pool table as well as some extra chairs. And like I said, the community kitchen. Now over there to the left, we have a parking lot that a lot of ECV students park in and also like to move in, unload, load into when moving in and off of campus. This next building that is closest to the parking lot is McWhorter. This is another one of our buildings over here. There are two entrances. This is the west entrance and the other side is the east entrance. Now what you're seeing here in the middle is the ECV quad. Over there to the right that we kind of passed over a little bit is a garbage dumpster can and also a recycling can. That is the only recycling bin that we have over here in this area. So if you need to recycle, make sure you go over there. Now this next building that's closer to the front is Vandiver Hall. There are two entrances to this building. The first one that you will see right now is our first floor entrance. Now all these buildings also do have their own community kitchens as well and areas just for people to be in if they don't want to go to their room. And all the buildings in this area come with their own laundry rooms as well. Now what we're looking at over here is another parking deck that a lot of ECV students do park in as well. So if you're looking for another place to park, if 
the parking lot is full, this is another area that you can use. So this building that we're now looking at is our lovely building 1516. You can see the stairs in the front and this is how you can access this building through both the stairs. There is no first floor entrance but there is a ramp over there to the right that you can use as well if you need that sort of access. And these rooms are more hotel style but you can learn more about that in my university housing video. Now coming back around on this right hand side is still Vandiver, but this is our second floor entrance to the building. And then over here you can also see that is another one of our garbage bins on campus. There's no recycling on this side. So if you don't recycle, like I said, go back on the other side of Busby. Now as we're walking back around, if you look to your left, this is Rooker Hall. This is the main hall for this area. You'll get your mail from over here. Our community offices are over here. If you need to talk to any of our residence hall directors or anybody in charge, you'll move in from here. You'll move out from here. You'll get carts from over here. Almost everything that you need will come over here. This is our main resource for the ECV community. So this has been a walking tour of UGA's East Campus. We have almost everything over here from dining commons to residence halls, parking decks, our university health center, and above all else, our rec center. If you want to see more videos like this in other parts of UGA's campus, make sure you subscribe and the notification bell because this is just the first video in our series of campus tours for UGA. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at I am Sincerely Drew because of course I post more often on there and I can interact with you guys more easily. And make sure y'all comment anything else that you want to know about college or just UGA because I'll be making those videos soon. And let me just show y'all myself real quick. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. And remember that I love you guys and my name is Sincerely Drew and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!